So not too long ago, I made a video about how to get audio from your DAW, whether it's Ableton or Logic or whatever, into OBS for streaming with no latency. And it's a really good method. It works for a lot of people. I got a really good feedback on the video, but I did get a couple of questions whether we can use that same method for video calling services. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. What's going on guys, my name is Adil Constantine and on this video, I'm gonna show you how to get audio from your DAW into uh, video calling services. But first, I highly recommend you watch the video right here because it guides you on how to get audio from your DAW into OBS for streaming without latency using a, a plugin like Replugs. Once you get all that set up, then come back to this video so we can follow up on what's the next step that we need to do in order to get that audio out from OBS into video calling services. So in order to do that, what we're gonna need is to get virtual audio cables. Because what we're gonna be doing is get the audio from your DAW into OBS. And then OBS is gonna act like a mixer. So it's gonna take that input and then we're gonna set an output out to virtual audio cable. And that virtual audio cable is what we're gonna use to get the audio into video calling services or like Discord, for example. So if you go to vb-audio.com slash cable, then you're gonna get to the virtual audio cables. And virtual audio cables really is just like a cable, but it's not physical, it's inside the computer. And so it's gonna take audio from one source and output it into another. So go ahead and make sure you download this for your Mac or PC. And then after you go through the installation, what we're gonna need to do is go into OBS and look at the advanced mixer settings. So if you go into the track for the DAW that we created in the previous video, go and click on that gear right there and go to advanced audio properties. And here what you're gonna do is, instead of this being set to monitor off or monitor only, set this to monitor and output along with your microphone. Because what we're saying here is we want to monitor those audio sources, but also we want to output them. And once you do that, go ahead and click close, go to settings, and then in the audio tab, make sure you set the monitoring device under advanced to cable input VB audio virtual cable. Because basically what we're saying here, we're going to take that audio from the output of OBS into the virtual audio cable. Next, if you go to Discord, for example, go to voice and video. And in here, in the input device, we're gonna select cable output VB audio virtual cable. So we're getting that audio from the virtual audio cable output into Discord. And that's all you need to do for Discord. And you can do the same thing with Zoom or Skype. So in Zoom, if you click on the settings, go to audio, and for the microphone, we're gonna select cable output, VB audio, virtual cable. And same thing with Skype, we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna click on audio and video. And then for the microphone source, we're gonna select cable output. So let me know if you found this video helpful in the comments below, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're having any issues, there's a better way to reach out to me, which is through my Discord channel. Um, I have a Discord server called JamFam. I'll put a link for it in the description below. So make sure to go visit it if you have any issues or if you wanna connect with other musicians um, and become part of the JamFam. So if you haven't watched the video that I was talking about earlier, make sure to click on the card right here. Or if you wanna check out some of my other stuff, then click on this card right here. Until next time, keep making music.